In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SETJM, on the Daily Readings from the Holy Mass, Thursday of the fifth week of Ordinary Time. God bless you, dear family. Today, in the Heart of the Word, in the first reading, we hear the culmination of the second creation account in Genesis chapter 2. The Lord God has created man from the clay of the earth and breathed into him the breath of life. Man carries within himself God's life-giving spirit. Man is both corporeal and spiritual. The Lord God then says, It is not good for the man to be alone. He will make a helper facing him, an azer in Hebrew. In the Torah, God is the azer of Israel, the one who helps Israel in times of distress. God is making a creature who will be a different person, like the man, but different because she will face him while helping him. What is the help she will give the man? To live the divine logic of the gift, that man can only find himself through the sincere gift of himself. The Lord God then puts the man into a deep sleep. The Hebrew word for deep sleep is tardema. It is used only one other time in the Torah, in Genesis 15, when God makes a covenant with Abraham. What is God doing now? He is making a covenant partner for the man. He then takes one of the ribs from the man and closes up its place with flesh. The word for rib is selah or side. The Lord God then builds into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. Woman is taken from the same nature as the man and she is taken from his side. Where is her place in the life of the man? Near his heart. Man is to entrust his heart to the woman, and woman is to be a home for the heart of the man. Then God builds her. The same verb is used in the prophet Isaiah to refer to God's relationship with Israel. Man does not build the woman. He is not superior to her, nor she to him. Her identity is fashioned mysteriously by God. Then the Lord, as the father of the bride, presents the woman to the man, and the man exclaims, Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, which is covenantal language for the marriage of man with woman. And the two become one flesh, one life. Man is united with she who is his azer, and the mutual self-gift, the dream of his tardema, his covenant partner and his selah, the one closest to his heart, and he the one closest to hers. This is God's original plan for man and woman and for marriage. Sin has wounded this plan, but not destroyed it. For there will be another man, a new Adam, who will give his life on a cross for his bride in a tardema on Calvary, when his side is open and his heart is pierced, and he brings her close to his heart again. And for this reason, a man leaves father and mother and cleaves to his wife, and the two become one flesh. And I'm speaking of the great mystery of Christ and the church. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. The civilization of love is distinguished by personalism, which moves the person to become a gift for others and to discover joy in the giving of himself. I sincerely believe that this civilization can only be built upon mature hearts by a mature humanity, which finds full realization in the unreserved giving of oneself, in the generous and total donation of oneself, and our reconciliation with who we are in God's plan, as men and as women in his divine image. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.